Yo, what's good, Arcaders? It's okay, what's up? from Foster Rush 1475, the greatest niggas, the clouds are too close to the ground, so we're all to the sky, and you're watching another episode of Food Tech. But I'm not alone. Yeah. I'm out here with. Yeah, Sibu Mpanza. That's. Wow, I've never felt so boring in my life. Sibu Mpanza, <laughs> we'll work on his uh... <laughs> intro. Um, on his Tagazelos. As Instagram. Oh, is that what? It's Tagazelos. That's a Foster Rush. Yeah, exactly. I get you. I'll come up with the Tagazelos. That's a K. Rent Rent Down. Today we're doing something a little bit different. We're doing a, segment. a little bit something, a little bit wow, we're doing a little bit something. Mm. We're doing something called Arcade Update. The whole idea of Arcade Update is that there's so much tech, gaming, streaming related news happening in the world every week that we just can't cover everything. So we came up with Arcade Update so that we could give you guys a weekly update on little tidbits that happened that you might have missed. So let's get to the video. Starting with AirPower. It's a mat that you place your iPhone 8 or iPhone 10 down and it just starts to charge. It doesn't stop there. You can place your Series 3 Apple Watch down on it and it starts to charge as well. And you can place your AirPods with the optional new wireless charging case on it and it starts to charge as well. They all charge. <laughs> AirPower was a wireless charging mat designed yeah. by Apple. It was initially previewed in 2017 with the announcement of the iPhone 8 mm -hmm. and the iPhone X. Uh, originally planned to be released in 2018, AirPower's release had been subject to delays, mm -hmm. leading to wide speculation of the, of the product's future, mm -hmm. until Apple officially announced it had been cancelled. Mm -hmm. on March 28th. Shame. Apple's senior vice president of hardware engineering said that the company had concluded that its air power wireless charger just would not achieve the high standards. So it cancelled the project. You know, the project. <laughs> project and product at the same time. He said, and I quote, we apologize to the customers who are looking forward to this launch. We continue to believe that the future is wireless and are committed to push the wireless experience forward. Oh, shame. I was actually quite excited for this. Do you know why? Because yeah. I've got this and I've got... Okay, it's not here. But it's got an iPhone, iPhone, too. iPhone 7. Can your iPhone 7 uh, wireless to charge? Oh, no. Was it only from the 8? From hey. the 8 upwards. You know what the stress <laughs> Sorry. Oh, is bad. You know what the thing is about Apple? You know why yeah. this thing is is is, is wild, guys? Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. Apple, as like a long ago to need to come out with the wireless charging mat. Yeah. It was them. Mm -hmm. And they 2017, this is two years ago, though. Yeah. 2017, they said, okay guys, we have found a way. They said this. Yes. They said that. They, they said, said yeah. They said, we found a way mm -hmm. to give you an amazing wireless charging experience. Yes. And you know what the problem is? Mm -hmm. There's many wireless uh, charging uh, mats on yeah. the market yeah. already that yeah. you can buy. But the thing is, when you buy a wireless mat, right? They mm -hmm. say this is the mat. Yeah. And then you need to put your phone there. There. Like yeah. where it says put your phone yes. here at a specific place. Mm -hmm. Then it will charge. Yes. Apple was like, put your phone anywhere, anywhere. on the mat yeah. and it will charge. Yeah. That's where you went wrong. I said put the phone anywhere where you charge. And then engineers were yeah. like, ah, that shouldn't be possible. <laughs> like engineers were what? I'm sure there was because also because also we need different like um amount like amount of electricity going exactly. through everything. So if I'm putting my watch and my phone in the same place and it's getting the same charges, uh, you know how they thought they were gonna achieve this. Mm. So there's coils obviously yeah. of electricity yeah. and stuff like that that are placed on the on the mm. mats, right? Yeah. So um, other wireless uh, mats yeah. put the coils like here, yeah. here, exactly. Here. Yes, Apple. Mm. <laughs> Apple said they will put coils all over, <laughs> on top of each other, mm. everywhere. Yeah. And then they said, we can do this. They yeah. came out and said, we can do this. This is not possible with current standards, but our team knows how to do this. 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 So the reason why the mat failed, cause there was smoke. <laughs> it was melting the chip of the, of the mat. It was, it was a disaster. We didn't ask for this. We Apple. didn't. We didn't. It feels like that one time when my stepdad said he'll buy me a PlayStation when I did not ask and then I just never did. He deliver it. it. Deliver it. It didn't. Come on, Apple. I never and asked. And uncle. <laughs> Does Sibu's uncle work at Apple today? We might not know. But moving on to more disappointing Apple news. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, we're talking about the new uh, camera on the next iPhone. According to OnLeaks, the next iPhone camera will have three lenses, which will be arranged in a triangle pattern within the bump, which is also housing the flash. 
the leak comes after a previous reports surfaced about the iPhone 11, uh, iPhone 11, the iPhone 11, <laughs> the iPhone 11, <laughs> the iPhone 11, the I- that's, that's what you're calling for. Hey, I got the iPhone 11 packing a triple lens camera system on the back of the device. Yeah. We will update you as soon as it progresses. See, what does this look like an iPhone 11 device? You know, it, it, freaks, me, it freaks me out a little bit because mm-hmm. I don't know, man. I just don't like, but also now I'm thinking, does my... Like, do I notice what my camera looks like on my phone? Exactly. Mm. It's one of those things, but also I feel like it's going to be weird. Also, three cameras. Do you know what what annoys me the most? Is the fact that the cameras aren't aligned. So it's like, it's one, two, three, four. Why not just make it a box? It's it's, it's so weird because, like, it's not an Apple design, but also there is no... I think Apple is struggling to find a way to differentiate between older phones like yes. 10s yes. and so the thing is the, the dope thing about an apple would be you need to see which oh snap you have the, the newer one from the back from you the know app. like the yeah. six has the white exactly. stripe and you know when people take selfies yeah. on instagram and you can see which okay the back is different from yes. a 6s exactly you see, oh this person has an 8 plus mm-hmm, mm-hmm. whatever 10 is so apple was like how the hell how do we do this do we differentiate and then some smart ass in the back was like put it in a square you put it in a damn square and they were make the camera like, triangle no ways and that's what happened that's how the the square camera happened that's if it actually happens because at the end of the day it's a leak and apple might be like yazin just for that that's exactly <laughs> so yes but speaking about cameras guys, yeah one company that's yeah. impressed me yeah huawei huawei ua this is not a phone it's a super camera phone it's superpower a super sensing like a quad camera they've just dropped the p30 <laughs> Here's some here's some here's some here's some features of the yeah, yeah, that you might yeah. get. So the resolution mm. is three ninety eight pixels per square inch. Guys. Man, the storage space right mm-hmm. goes all the way up to five hundred and twelve gigabytes. Eight gig RAM, mm. and mm. the tennis max only has four. Mm. And what I love about it the most mm. is the USB C ports. That's right? easy because the USB C ports is yeah. easy to. It's nice. Yeah. These are what my laptop has, and exactly. finally a phone has that. Exactly. And this phone, the P30 yeah. Pro, is roughly the same price as the tennis max. Yeah. Depending on where you buy it. Yeah. Of they go on sale on the fifth of April. Are you excited about this phone? You know what? This mm-hmm. camera has four lenses. Yeah. You know, uh, normal lens. Oh, extremely wide lens, mm-hmm. uh, telephoto lens, so yeah. zooms in, and then the fourth one is called yeah. a TF lens or something like that. I'm still not sure. I think TF is the one that blurs the background and stuff like sure that. TF yeah. is not telephoto. <laughs> Wait, I, I don't. Honestly, there's. I know there's four cameras, but yeah. Besides that, I'm guys. Sweating. Yeah. Besides, besides that. Besides that, the camera is amazing. It's yeah. impressive, guys. There's a five times uh, digital zoom on yeah. that thing where you can zoom in five times and you won't lose any quality. Yeah. And um, it also does some other combination where you can get ten times zoom. And like the the, the picture examples are, are, are amazing. Mm-hmm. But here's my thing, Doxy. Yeah. No matter how much uh, strides and progress Android makes, yeah. I don't know. I don't think I will ever take out that much money to buy an Android. I'm have sorry. You, have you ever had an Android? Probably back in the days. Sam- I mean, I, I've been iPhone. Old Samsung. Since, yeah, yeah. But yeah, so it doesn't count really. It doesn't I, so, so I had, the reason I know, right, mm. that I would go back, if there was a phone that was that good, which the P30 Pro, I think, is that good, mm-hmm. I would go back to Android for a P. If somebody was like, Sibu, here's a P30 Pro. Pro. I'd take my iPhone and be like, I'll wait till the next one comes out to see if it matches. Because one, Samsung makes good phones. The Notes, like I said before, yeah. not the normal. I don't, S10, it's a good phone, but I don't it's think I'd ever. Give me a Note, yeah. and then we're talking. Funi baza baza, I mean. Exactly. But then if you say Huawei P30 Pro, I have seen that phone. I have watched reviews on it. And man, oh man. It's a beautiful camera, but you just wouldn't go. I think I need to hold it in my hand, you know, have it for a little time, like, one week or yeah. two years if somebody's willing to give it to me <laughs> <in> the <laughs> way. two years and then i can review it in, yeah. that, two, in that two years and maybe <laughs> maybe i can yeah. convince me yeah. So, yeah i need to hold it in my in my hand mm. let me hold it in my hand and maybe because i really like yeah. cameras you know that and I if really. you don't like it after two years we'll give it back exactly gotcha. so why would you hit me up Okay. You know, hit me up. Huawei, you heard it here first. Okay. So Huawei, if, if you want to give me a phone, just yeah. hit me up, man. I'm serious. Yeah. This is not a game. But speaking about games... <laughs> yes! <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> Google Stadia. Imagine you were watching games on YouTube. 
and you discover the latest Assassin's Creed Odyssey trailer on Ubisoft's official channel on YouTube. You will notice the Play Now button. By simply clicking on that button, the player is brought directly into the game in a browser in as quick as five seconds. Ah, uh, Google Stadia, yeah. man, the one you guys have all been waiting for. Basically, Google Stadia is in a very, it's a very ambitious plan to flip the gaming industry on its head by taking on major console makers, Nintendo, Sony, Microsoft, PC gaming industry, competing streaming services, even the live streaming platforms like Twitch. If you don't know what Twitch is, it's a streaming platform for gamers. It's like Vuv, for okay. yeah. Instagram live. It is like boom. I mean, the gaming platform will consolidate the gaming process mm. from development, hosting to distribution and advertising. Mm. Stadia will eliminate any hardware barriers and merge two pillars of the modern gaming industry. Developers who create the, the immersive digital worlds yeah. and the fans who visit YouTube to stream yeah. or watch Fortnite. Apex Legends yeah. or League of Legends. I've been getting into Fortnite, bro, so hard. Listen, Stadia may eliminate the need to buy gaming consoles. Mm -hmm. I think this is what worries a lot of people the most, and even PCs, yeah. as it will run entirely on Google Chrome. Sorry, Safari. Um, and it will come with a standalone controller in a bundle mm -hmm. that will be far cheaper than the usual like 5,000 Rand PlayStations that we're used to right now. At launch, we'll support being able to play games across desktops, laptops, TV, tablets, and phones. This new generation of gaming is not a box. With Stadia, the data center is your platform. There is no console that limits the developer's creative ideas, and no console that limits where gamers can play. I don't know if you guys want us to make a full length video about mm. this, mm. but I don't, I don't think you understand what this means. The implications. So, so Google is saying, um, you don't need a console. Yeah. You don't need a 20,000 Rand computer. All you need is a screen, yeah. so phone, tablets, yeah. computer, any computer mm -hmm. that has Google Chrome. Yeah. And you'll be able to play the latest 1000 Rand, <laughs> 84 gig yeah. RAM needing mm -hmm. graphic mm -hmm. card, 10 yeah. GTI. You're giving away too much. We're going to make a video. We're gonna make a, We're gonna but make a you video. don't need all of that. You just need a screen just and you'll be game. able to play any game that you want. And if you want to, if you leave this, if you leave your laptop at home and you want to play at campus, what do you do? You pull out your phone. And you play there. You carry on exactly where you live. Okay, we're giving away too much. Like I said, we might make a full length video about yeah. this, but this is huge. My it's, a, it's a move. Very dangerous for, for PS, yeah. PlayStation, yeah. for yeah. Xbox, but we'll talk about it. We'll talk about we'll it. We'll talk about it. Yeah. Before we leave, yeah. here's some streaming news for you guys. Um, on Netflix. Yeah. Umbrella Academy has been renewed for season two. Yeah, and Sex Education. Sex Education, my yeah. favorite show, and The Order. Mm. But also a new trailer for one of the greatest TV shows of all time. <sighs> Stranger Things. Dig it, dig it, dig it, dig it, dig it. It's good, but it's not that it's, good. It's the one of the greatest TV shows of all. Eleven. You, I hope you know this thing. I mean, I'm not digging my nose. It's just <laughs> the blood. Is those. It's the blood. Of was digging his nose. He was digging his nose. Before he talks even more, guys, Formula One Drive to Survive is the latest blockbuster mm. from Netflix. It is a fire documentary. I watched it in literally one day. It's absolutely amazing. It even got me to sit down and watch sports. I watch sports. I sat down and watched the whole F1. If you haven't checked it out, make sure you check it out. It is a new craze right now on uh, Twitter. Everybody's talking about it. So make sure you check it out, man, if you're looking for a little bit of a recommendation. So tell us what you're watching. You know, yeah. comment, uh, what else are you watching? Uh, mm -hmm. uh, and maybe we'll watch it too, guys. Uh, but so. For myself, okay, Wasabi from Fosso, that's 1475. The hoodest niggas, the clouds are too close to the ground, so we're all to this guy. Wow. With Simon Benza from Randberg. This has been Arcade Update. Yeah. Check us next time, till again, next week for your news. Arcade Update. Oh, we don't have the rights to that song. <laughs> Let's make our own song that sounds good.